We're gonna go over the best exercises that you can utilize to improve your jump training for basketball, and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so when we're trying to improve jump-based training for basketball players, we've got to recognize that there's some key concepts, okay? And we have to improve our landing mechanics unilaterally and bilaterally. So unilaterally from a single leg position and bilaterally if we're, if we're landing with two legs, right? So we've got to improve our landing mechanics. And when we improve our landing mechanics, that's when we're gonna improve our jump mechanics, so our actual liftoff mechanics. So there's a couple big factors here in the sport of basketball is that a lot of athletes have to jump from one leg. They have to jump laterally. They have to jump vertically. And we also have to jump laterally or vertically from two legs. So we have to train that aspect. And that's gonna take us right into that first key exercise that I like to utilize. It's gonna be a pretty simple movement, but it's gonna be a single leg squat focusing on landing and then reacting quickly. So it's pretty simple here if we have our, our pad right here. And if you don't have a pad, you can utilize a bench. Uh, you can put your back foot up on a box. Anything that's gonna put you with that back foot behind your hips, okay? So you can go right here, just a little above 90 degrees here. Jump, and you can pause, jump back up jump back up, okay? So you're here and then you're focusing on that lateral drive and really controlling that landing position. So utilize this. That's the first key exercise that you can utilize to improve your unilateral jumping capability. Okay, so we talked about improving your landing mechanics and being able to react quickly. That next concept is utilizing a depth drop. So a depth drop would be where you drop off of a box, you drop from anywhere around eight inches all the way up to 18 inches, 20 inches, something like that. But we have to build to that point. Now, what I like to do is we can do a depth drop, land bilaterally, and then jump onto another box here. So a box that's at what, what is this? So like around 28, 30 inches. And when you land, I wanna see a unilateral landing. The key here is you're learning how to absorb energy off that first initial depth drop you're gonna apply a lot of force bilaterally, okay? So that if you, if you jump off of two legs, it's gonna help improve your dunking capability. And then when you land, you're gonna land unilaterally. So now, think about you go up for a layup, you might come down and land in that unilateral position and you wanna be stable, okay? You wanna be stable in your ankle, in your knee, in your hips, right? So the keys here is that this is going to teach you how to use that energy to jump higher, but it's also gonna teach you that injury prevention mechanism by landing unilaterally. So we might be here, okay? And we wanna land nice and stable, okay? So here, boom. Try and pause in that, in that position, okay? So now we might go one more, right? That was bad, one more because that was bad. Okay, now, as I increase my strength and my speed, right, especially my overall strength, so that bumper is gonna roll all the way over, I wanna increase that box. I don't think you need to go much higher than about 18 to 20 inches for that depth drop. But we can sit here and go, oh, drop, boom. And what's interesting is that now I'm a little more awake, okay? my reaction was actually a little bit quicker and I was much more stable on that grounding. So I'm here, boom. Okay, so use this, do this twice a week. It's gonna help you learn how to properly ground bilaterally and unilaterally, and that's gonna lead to better dunking capability. Okay, that next exercise that we're gonna use is another unilateral movement but now we're gonna be with our hands overhead. So think about playing defense. We've gotta react quickly without actually having our arms to be able to be used as increasing that momentum vertically. Okay, so a lot of times in basketball, if you're playing defense, you can't have your hands up, drop your hands and then jump. You've gotta be able to jump in that overhead position. Okay, so that's why I really like this next exercise. It's a key component behind actually transferring onto the court. We can do a whole bunch of specific vertical jump based training, but if we're not training specific to positions that we're in on the court, it's not gonna matter, okay? So what we wanna do, I like doing an overhead jump step up. So we're at 20 inches. Now, I'm six foot, six one at the tallest, right? I'm not the average height of the basketball player. So if I'm a woman, I'm probably gonna be 5'10 to six one if I am a collegiate basketball player, maybe a little bit shorter at the high school level, but 20 inches is plenty for women, maybe a little bit lower for this exercise. For men, 
Look at the length, and, and for women, look at the length of the tibia. Okay, the tibia should establish the height of the box. So if you have someone who's 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, their tibia is gonna be a little bit longer. So you could go from 20 to 24 inches, and that's probably plenty. The whole goal is focusing on touch and go, touch and go with a big drive. So a lot of people, when we do this here, they might initially go like this, okay? So they're holding overhead, but they're not actually driving. I wanna see you drive, boom. Okay, so that's gonna help improve our speed on the court, also our thoracic stability, and our reaction unilaterally. And this is gonna help improve dynamic trunk control because we're in that overhead position. So again, make sure that as we touch, it's a drive. Don't sit there and piddle around here, try and get back up and then switch. You wanna see, drive this knee through full extension, hip through full extension, while you're holding that plate overhead. Okay, so these next two exercises I like to use as a superset and it's gonna improve your lateral reaction, lateral reaction, okay? So that's gonna help with defensive work. It's also gonna help with cutting in the paint and that's gonna lead to better layups. It's gonna lead potentially, if you're tall enough, you're explosive enough, better dunking, right? So what I wanna do first is I wanna have a band. So we got our power elastic bands, we got our mobility band. You can click on the link down below in our description, you can pick this up today. This is the perfect tension for an easier movement like this. So what I wanna think about is this band, the mobility band is gonna pull me in, okay? I'm getting pulled in and I'm gonna plant, drive from the hip, and then as I land, I wanna have tension across, okay? So tension across in my trunk. This carries over really, really well to agility and a lot of sports can benefit from a movement like this. So if I start out here, I'm gonna go in, come across, press. Okay, plant, press, across. And the whole thing is coming across, right? Plant, press. Now I'm gonna feel that in my gut, in my hamstrings, on the grounding leg out here and in my glutes. So it's react, boom. That was a bad one. React. So we wanna increase our coordination. Okay, now we're gonna rest about 30, 40 seconds. And we're gonna get into single leg side jumps, okay? This helps with agility, helps with power, helps with speed, helps with jumping. That's gonna improve your dunk capability. So if I'm standing here, I got a little zigzag here, I'm going. Land, pause, remember the whole goal is to focus on your landing mechanics. That's why we're putting in that isometric action. <laughs> so the whole goal is focusing on landing mechanics. Isometric actions will improve that landing mechanics. So you go side jumps with the band, rotate across. Lateral mini hurdle hops here, go for height and quick reaction. Land, pause with that action, that isometric action, so you can improve your landing mechanics when you improve your landing mechanics as a tall dude or a tall woman, now you can apply greater force when you're trying to actually jump. So utilize all these movements once to twice a week and make sure that they're planned properly. If you need help with your overall programming, click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com. You can pick up our vertical jump manifesto or you can pick up our basketball strength training program. It's gonna help you improve your dunking capability, your layup capability, and your overall defense because of the agility that you're gonna improve. Until next time, guys. Peace.